Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do Dune Awakening on Arc GPU. I've did the testing on Dune Awakening on Arc GPU with the benchmark tool that they came out, but we didn't have access to XCSS at that time. And now we can actually test gameplay instead of uh, just a benchmark. We're also going to try to figure out which Intel Arc GPU should be the proposed minimum requirement for Dune Awakening since the dev didn't list any Intel Arc GPU. Welcome to Response PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. We're going to test on my trusty i5 12600K with 32GB of RAM, so we limited the possibility of any bottleneck. Starting off with the A310 at 1080p, lowest settings, XCSS balance, and no frame gen. We got an average of 26 FPS. Yes, you can probably drop XCSS to performance or enable XCSS frame gen to get above 30 FPS, so make your bit deem more playable, because even when you start the game, you get a warning from the game saying that the, the GPU doesn't have enough VRAM, and it shows because we have a 4 GB VRAM card and we're using 5.7 GB of VRAM, meaning we go fetch some of the system memory to compensate. And the GPU is obviously pegged at 99%. CPU is barely doing anything in the mid-teens of a CPU utilization. And we're using 18.8 .8 GB of RAM. So if you absolutely want to play this game and have this GPU, maybe drop the resolution to 720p or lower XCSS from balance to performance or even enable XCSS uh, frame gen, but I wouldn't recommend it. Next up, we have uh, the Intel Arca A380. This is a 6 GB VRAM card, which means we don't get any warning anymore from the game when you start it, because it need at least 6 GB of VRAM, but at which settings you should uh, put uh, this card to be able to play at least at 30 FPS and 1080p. Since this card is the closest thing to a GTX 1066 GB variant, uh, we're going to try like the GTX 1060 at the lowest settings, 1080p, and XCSS uh, instead of a uh, SR or FSR. And like the GTX 1060, we're going to start with XCSS native, I mean upscaling 100%. And that gives us a notable 23 FPS and sometimes dipping in the mid teens FPS. This is horrible gameplay. GPU peg at 99% using 6.2 GB of VRAM. I mean we're passing over our 6 GB VRAM limits and go fetch some of the system memory. That's no good. That means we need to drop the upscaling. Like the GTX 1060, we were using TSR 75% upscaling. For the A380 to be playable, we need to drop uh, XCSS to upscaling at 65% to be able to get uh, an average of 34 FPS. Next up is the Intel Arc A580, still one of my favorite uh, Intel Arc GPU for the price, if you can still find one. We're not playing at 1080p still, but with medium settings and XCSS AA or native. We got the GPU to use most of its VRAM. We went up as high as 7.1 GB of VRAM, with the GPU peg at 9 99% CPU we are in the 30s and using 17 GB of RAM to get a nice 44 FPS average. I feel this game should be playable at 30 FPS so getting 44 FPS is perfect in my point of view. If you are someone that is preferring playing at 60 FPS feel free to enable the XCSS frame generation or drop the upscaling from 100% to 75 or 50%. And since we're at medium you can even drop some settings to low instead of medium. Anything to reach your 60 FPS if this is what you want. Next up we have the A750, also a 8GB VRAM card but with more XE core that should give us a little bit more performance on the table. So I'll let everything to medium settings with XCSS AA and we get a similar result as the A580. A little bit more performance was only 4 FPS so we now have an average of 48 FPS. Not a big gain in performance but there's not a big difference between the both card. We also peg at 99%, we're using 7 0.2 GB of VRAM out of 8. CPU is in the mid 30. RAM we are at 17.5 and everything runs smoothly. Nothing really much that you can add. Besides, if you want to change a little bit the FPS, you still can play with the frame gen and other settings. Now it's just the preset medium and no frame gen. Next up is another 8GB VRAM card, the A778GB variant. Still at 1080p, but this time we can push the settings to high with XCSS AA. That will give us an average of 44 FPS. With the GPU peg at 99, using 7.2GB VRAM out of 8. GPU utilization and RAM utilization didn't change much and the gameplay is super smooth. And if you want more FPS, just drop the setting from high to medium and you'll get close to your 60 FPS. Actually, you get around 57 FPS average on medium. Next is the A770 LE. I have the 16GB variant 
standard also, but since we don't use more VRAM, both the A778GB and the 16GB gave the exact same result. The LE gave me 45 FPS average, so we're quite close to the margin of error with the GPU peg at the 99% and using 7.3GB of VRAM. All the rest was the same. So if you're playing at 1080p, high settings, XCSS uh, A8, the 8GB or 16GB A770, you won't see any difference. Probably if you push the A770 on the 1440p, you may use more RAM than it's available from the 8GB variant, but you're probably going to have to drop the settings to medium. Next up, we have the lowest battle mage, the B570. This is a 10 gigabyte VRAM card, so it should be perfect for this game at 1080p, which we are at high settings, XCSS AA. And we not that far from the A778 or 16 gigabyte variant. Since we're using 7 gigabyte of VRAM out of 10, we have an average FPS of 48, a little bit higher than the Bolt A770. Nothing else much to say about it. Besides, you can also play with the settings, drop to medium or enable XCSS frame gen. If you want more FPS, or if you prefer just a better visual quality, just leave it as is. And finally, the Intel Arc B580 at 12GB of VRAM, which won't make any difference at 1080p. Anyway, we're testing at Ultra settings that you choose as a preset by default. With XCSS AA, so we are at negative resolution, we get an average of 43 FPS. This is highly playable. The GPU is back at 99% using 7.8GB of VRAM out of 12. GPU is is in the i20s and we're using 17.2 gigabyte of ram and for this last card i will show you how to reach 60 fps so you're going to have to drop the settings to high instead of ultra without xcss frame gen you get a nice 64 fps average we got the gpu to reach 7.4 gigabyte of vram out of 12 with the gpu peg at 99 percent that also means this gpu could easily play at 1440p what did we learn we learned that the a310 is not an option to play this game the a3 80 should probably be the minimum requirement to play this game at 1080p low settings over 30 fps and the b580 to play at 1080p over 60 fps for the recommend system requirement and that's all for doing awakening on arc gpu thanks for watching see you in the next one and subscribe